Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at the Harbor Freight Instant Savings Coupons for March 2022. We have over 70 new Instant Savings Coupons for you to enjoy shopping at Harbor Freight. Now these coupons will be in effect from now until April 7th, 2022. And it looks like Harbor Freight is changing things up again. It looks like going forward, the Instant Savings Coupons will be in effect for the entire month instead of every two weeks like before. So I'm sure that in between these instant savings coupons, they will be releasing some super coupons or the real coupons with barcodes and coupon codes. And remember that these coupons and all the Harbor Freight coupons are available at my website under the extras tab in high resolution image so you can see them anytime you like. And also remember to hit that subscribe button right now before you forget so you get notified every time I post a new coupon video for Harbor Freight or Home Depot, Amazon, Lowe's, or any other great place that I can find to save you guys some money. All right, guys, so let's take a look and see what Harbor Freight has in store for us this time. But before I do that, also, I want to point out that Harbor Freight just released some new coupons last night. And if you're subbed to my channel, you already got the notice. But if you're not subbed, you obviously didn't get that notice. And you may miss out depending on when you're watching this video. But Harbor Freight put out a notice last night that the parking lot sale that I did a video on a couple of weeks ago has been extended throughout this weekend. The difference is that instead of being a parking lot sale where the prices are already set and you just go to the register with your item pay for it and you're done this time they made it into a coupon sale so you have to clip those coupons to get the savings for the parking lot sale for the items that are on that sale so i will put a link down in the comments down below so that way you know exactly where to get those coupons here on my website they are in effect from whenever i create this video through the 13th so through sunday the 13th those coupons are still on sale if you had been subbed you would have gotten the notice and you can take advantage of it this weekend if you're watching this video a little too late then sorry i can't help you anyway so let's see what we have in this video here today and we start off with some pneumatic tools and we start off with the central pneumatic 18 gauge two in one air nailer stapler for 20 bucks 33 percent off 30 bucks right now this is not a bad little air nailer stapler i've had this for about four years and it's a good little tool in fact i did a review video on it about four years ago it hasn't changed any if you want to go see that video i'll put a link up in the corner most of my regular viewers have probably already seen it but if you're new you probably have not seen it it's a good little tool for the money i always suggest you check that one out instead of the other more expensive tools that they carry and here if you need a pvc hose 3 8 by 100 footer 20 bucks right there a flexible parts tray 20 percent off so far good decent knockoffs on prices 20 percent 20 percent 33 percent off not bad here you go with some pb blaster 4.99 for that uh 11 ounce pb blaster there you go and one of these trolley jacks, 12% off the Pittsburgh Automotive two-ton compact trolley jack, 35 bucks. Now, folks, I got to say, I don't even know why these things exist. I think they are horrendous. They are unstable. They are just not good jacks. Do not get, for 35 bucks, do not buy this. I recommend everybody stay away from these trolley jacks. I don't even think they should be made. I think they are extremely unstable. Get yourself a proper floor jack for like... 10 15 bucks more you can get a decent floor jack that is much more stable and will not have a the slightest possibility of tipping over or anything like that so don't look at this stay away from that get yourself a proper floor jack they have a lot of good ones at harbor freight and if you're looking for a sliding compound miter saw with led and laser guide here you go for 200 bucks the admiral 12 inch dual bevel sliding compound miter saw 30 bucks off that's not too bad admiral is one of their least expensive models but it is still a good decent saw for 200 bucks that's not bad here you have some casters 99 cents a dollar 50 for a bench brush again a paintbrush 79 cents not bad for you need the little things for doing stuff around the house here's some good little inexpensive stuff pneumatic tire right there for fixing like a wheelbarrow hand truck anything like that one of their four inch ratcheting clamps right there 99 cents they're not too bad 
and they do have lifetime warranty and trust me I have taken advantage of that warranty because sometimes these guys stop working I mean they'll still ratchet they'll work just fine the only thing I have found is sometimes when you clamp it down hard to hold something really tight together they'll just back off and that means right there it stopped working so you can take it back and get yourself another one which I have done here you have a spring clamp, 99 cents, one and three quarter nylon spring clamp, not too bad. Here you have a three inch snap flip fastener right there for 50 cents. If you uh, want to have something clipped onto your belt, your backpack, anything like that, they come in handy. Here you have the 40 by 50 inch moving blanket for 399. These aren't too bad, come in very, very handy. They make good dog beds, good moving blankets, good for packing stuff away. Very convenient blankets right there for four bucks. And here you have the Fortress 2 gallon 135 psi ultra quiet hand carry job site air compressor for 160 bucks, 30 bucks off right now. So, you know, if you're looking at something like that, you need a job site air compressor right there, a nice quiet one, the Fortress, check those out. And here you go, if you need some extension cords, you got a 50 foot 14 gauge extension cord for 20 bucks, 50 foot 12 gauge extension cord for 40 bucks right there, 39 bucks. Or if you need a three tap extension right there, 399, 20% off, not too bad. The 14 gauge is not bad. If you want something even better, I would suggest going with the 12 gauge. That way you can put a lot more current through it and not worry about frying it or overheating it or anything like that. So that's pretty good right there. Here you have a bike utility hook for $1.50, a jerry can, five gallon jerry can right there from Midwest Can for 45 bucks, a nice metal can. And here you have the non-contact voltage tester from Ames Instrument. And I did a review on this a couple years ago as well. This is not a bad little tool for four bucks. It's not bad. I think when I got it, it might have been a little less expensive than this. But then again, everything has been creeping up over the past few months, as we're all very aware of the crazy inflation that's going on right now. But it's not a bad little tool. And you know what? I just ordered another one. It's coming up real soon. I may do a review on that real soon. And it's a similar tool. It's a non-contact voltage tester, but it does have digital display and all sorts of stuff like that so it works like a meter as well so check that out i'm gonna do a review on that real soon for people that want something real quick where you can put it you know without touching it check and see what the voltage is maybe get a reading on what the voltage and all that is and it works for ac and dc so that's going to be coming up real soon and here you go with the nitrile coated nylon work gloves 99 cents now these guys i really don't like this nitrile coating is so slippery look how glossy it is that tells you right there the glossing it tells you it is very very slippery and it's really hard to hang on to things i don't like these gloves i definitely recommend not to get them because when you're trying to grab something it's going to slip out of your hands so very dangerous if it's something that's heavy or dangerous to handle here you go with the hardy 7 mil heavy duty powder free nitrile gloves pack of 50 10.99 they're starting to come down a little bit in price but they're still kind of expensive here you have the A5 cut resistant work gloves for four bucks right there, again from the hardy ones. And here you have the flip light, the 200 lumens LED super bright flip light for two bucks. These aren't bad, very useful for using them in RVs or closets or anything like that. Any place that you want some lighting and you don't want to have to worry about setting up wiring and all that. Like a storage shed or something like that. If you have a storage shed and it's far away from your property, you, you don't want to have to run wire out to there. Put one of these guys on there or two of these guys on there and you light up your storage shed without any trouble. And here you go. If you want to be lazy and hang around all day, here you go with your parachute hammock with adjustable tree straps, 25% off, 15 bucks. You can sleep and doze all day out there and enjoy yourself. Here you go with some magnetic hooks, set of four, two ninety-nine, 30% off. Here you go with the Quantum 140 Lumens Pocket Rechargeable Pen Light, 35% off. Not too bad, 13 bucks if you want to enjoy something like that. And here you go with the Hardwood Dolly, 17% off. And you know what? These are not bad. I really don't know if they're hardwood or not. I don't know what kind of wood they're made of, but to me, they seem a little soft. I mean, I have a couple of these guys, and it's a white wood. And generally, hard wood is going to be a little like oak or something like that. It's a little darker. It has more pigmentation to it. So I really don't know what kind of white wood is a hardwood. Uh, if you guys know more about wood than I do, you can comment down below and put your ideas as to what it might be. But uh, I have seen people break these guys. So they're not extremely strong, but they do the job as long as you're careful. So if you want some inexpensive dollies, there you go. 14 bucks right there. 
Here you go with the Pittsburgh 48 inch I-beam level, 12 bucks. Now this one does not have a lifetime warranty on it like some of their other ones do, but if you want a cheap little inexpensive I-beam level, 20% off right there. Here you go, a submersible pond pump for 20 bucks, 13% off. Here you go with a two amp variable speed oscillating multi-tool, 20 bucks right there. And that's not bad, their Warrior brand, 33% off. If you want a very inexpensive oscillating multi-tool, 20 bucks, that's about as cheap as you're going to go right there. And this guy's a repeat, we already saw that before. And here we go with the four gallon backpack sprayer. Now this one may be on sale even cheaper in the parking lot coupons. I know I saw this one recently about a week or two back in one of the other coupon flyers that they put out. So go check out that parking lot sale. This one may be available even lower than this. And then you have a couple of other ones right there. If you want a two gallon or a one and a quarter gallon sprayer, you have a couple of choices right there. And here you have the clear water pump, one inch by 79cc gasoline engine for $199.99 or 200 bucks, 35 GPM. Predator engine, if you're looking for one of these guys, 30% off right there, 369. And here you have a eight pattern control nozzle, 11 bucks right there for doing some gardening, yard work, cleaning up the yard, etc. Here you have the Bauer 23 foot auto feed handheld electric drain cleaner, 10 bucks off. This is not bad if you want to do some uh, plumbing repairs around the house, clear uh, some drains and stuff like that. Or even if you want to do this as a handyman or plumber or something like that and make a few extra bucks on the side, this guy comes in real handy because you're in and out real easy, real quick. And the 23 footer, they do sell a replacement snake for this. So if you kink it up, gets bent or whatever, you can always pull it out, buy the replacement snake and pop it back in there. And you don't need to buy the entire tool. So that's easy enough right there. Here you go with the Bauer 7.5 amp, one half inch variable speed hammer drill driver. This is their corded version, not the cordless. But there you go. If you want 38 bucks right there for that 15% off. Here you have a Bauer 20 volt cordless 295 lumens LED stick light tool only. So you don't get the charger and you don't get the battery. So it's not going to be 20 bucks. It's going to be closer to 50 when you start putting everything else together. And I do have another light. If you guys like this design, I just got another light in that I'm going to do a review on real soon. And the other one is a similar design to this, but instead of having one flip light, it has two. It opens up to each opposing side and they do rotate all over the place. So it's very interesting, kind of like a butterfly design. Let's put it that way. It opens up. They can face in different directions. They can face towards each other, up, down, sideways, whatever. Look for that one. That's going to be coming up real soon. Here you go if you want a very cheap, inexpensive circular saw, 10 amp, seven and a quarter inch full size circular saw, 26 bucks, 13% off right there from Drill Master. Here's the Bauer reciprocating saw, 10 amp variable speed reciprocating saw, 25% off, 45 bucks, that's not bad. That's fairly decent price compared to some of the other stuff. I mean, if you look at the Hercules ones that they sell, those are in the $80 range. Those are comparable to a DeWalt, where at that point, I would just buy a DeWalt instead of the Hercules. But this one is a bit more affordable, so it's something you can look at if you're looking for an inexpensive reciprocating saw. Same with this guy over here. You're looking for a cheap angle grinder, seven amp, four and a half inch slide switch angle grinder, 25 bucks from Bauer, 16% off. But I will also point out if you want an even cheaper one, go check out the parking lot sale coupons. If those are still available for you, go check it out. Follow the link that I'll put down in the comment below. They have the Warrior Angle Grinder in the coupons on that for $9.99. So you can get that even cheaper right now with that parking lot sale coupon. Take advantage of that if you really want a cheap, inexpensive little angle grinder. And here we go with the Bauer 4.5 inch cutoff wheel, $7.99 for a 10 pack, not too bad. Here we go to, with the flap disc, the Warrior 4.5 inch aluminum oxide flap disc, two fifty. dollars Now these aren't the best in the world, I've used them and they're okay, they get the job done, but they clog up rather quickly. That's one of the things that I have found about a lot of the stuff at Harbor Freight. Most of their sanding material, whether it's sandpaper, grinding wheels, all this kind of stuff, flap disc, they just tend to clog up rather quickly. But if you want a cheapy one, I mean, two fifty dollars is probably a lot cheaper than what you're going to get at Lowe's or Home Depot or any of that. So give it a try. See what you think. Uh, they get the job done. I just wind up going through a lot of them. Here you have the Grant's Microfiber Cleaning Cloth 12 by 12 12 pack 
449 and they may have one of these coupons as well in the parking lot sale even cheaper than this they have like the the coupons right now in the parking lot sale is like over 120 coupons so i can't remember all the ones that are in there but they were the same as the stuff that was two weeks ago and maybe a few new ones so go check that out if you're interested here you go with the trim router for 20 bucks that's not bad 49 cents right there for a utility knife Wet dry shot back from Bauer 9 gallon, 4.5 peak horsepower, 65 bucks. These are okay. Some people have used them. They say they're really good. I haven't tried them out, but you can check it out and see what you think. Here you have a socket rail for 99 cents from Pittsburgh. Some comfort grit screwdrivers for 10.99. One of these inexpensive spray guns, the old fashioned style. 22 bucks it is very inexpensive it is corded and the, the only thing i don't like about these is that they make so much racket they sound like a jackhammer right next to you it's really really noisy but if you want a cheapy one there's one to go with right there here you have uh, sae and metric socket 64 piece right there from pittsburgh one quarter three eighths and one half inch drive 35 bucks right there lifetime warranty here you have a half inch drive 25 inch breaker bar from pittsburgh 13 bucks some duct tape right there some aluminum hooks over here for 99 cents there you go some rope and lashing straps right there lots of cool stuff some trailer lights and some d-ring anchors for your trailer and maybe another hand winch to go with the trailer so you can put stuff in it more conveniently there you go 19 bucks here you go a collapsible ladder right there telescoping ladder 140 bucks here you go with a 286 pound capacity welding cabinet for all your welding stuff 80 amp inverter arc welder for 150 right there fiberglass ladder right here and there you go with a roller stand and some sockets right there 20 bucks for those those are pretty good and here we are at the end of the coupons guys at the end of the video hope you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys on the next one Bye bye for now